Hello and welcome to WiseLink Academy. Today we're going to be looking into geometric construction. Alright, um, here the question below. A spindle is shown in figure 1 as you can see at the right corner of the screen in which the length of the various di diameter is expressed as fractions of the total length. Copy the drawing obtaining the length by construction. Alright. The first and fourth most what we need to know here is what? We need to observe the length of that spindle, right? And the height of that spindle. Obviously, by my observation, I'm seeing that the height of that spring do is, is what? Diameter of what? 75. As you can see my arrow indicating. Why the length of that spring do? The entire length is 200. As you can see my arrow also indicating. Right? So my first task here is to draw a center line. That arrow is indicating. That center line you're seeing. So let's draw that. So, I'll have my T square this way. I will draw um, long one, short one, 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 long one. As you can see, this is my center line. So, my next task here is to what? Is to pick a point. Let me pick um, this point as my starting point, right? So from that point, I can easily take my set square this way and draw a vertical line upward. A vertical line this way, right? As you can see what I'm having. I already know that my the height of that spring do is what? 75. So obviously, 75. If I have a diameter, diameter simply means I will simply divide that value by two. 75 divided by two, I get 37.5, approximately 36. So I'll make 36 on my meter rule. As you can see, 36, three, from this point to this point is 36. As you can see, right, 36. 36 so I'll place at this point here strike an arc up and down so I have obtained what the height of that spring do so at this point I will take this um, my T square as you can see at this point I will draw a horizontal line faint downward this way and from our observation we observe that the length of that spring do is what? 200. So I'm going to 200. That is 20. Right? That is 20. So doing that, I have a meter rule this way. 20 from this point here to this point is 20. Right? This is my 20.20. So I'll mark what? I will mark a vertical line upward at that point. So this way. Draw a vertical line upward. I have this right. So similarly, I can easily close it up with this um measurement here. Close it up. I close it up. I have this. So we have obtained what the height and the length of that spring do. Our next task says is that if you can see from the diagram, um the as you can see, the um, there are some fractions that are there. Two over eleven, one over eleven, four over eleven, one over eleven, and three over eleven. So it simply means I will divide this baseline here by eleven, right? I will divide here by what? By eleven. So how do I go about that? My first tax here is to divide by eleven. Now here my this is my first approach. How do I do that? I will drop a link in this in this, this description description of this video. So we check how to divide line with is with is. So my first task is what 
draw any any inclined line of my choice i just draw it this way as you can see what i've drawn so my next task now is that this inclined line i've drawn i will make sure i will come take my compass measure any radius of my choice right so just take it at this point and strike an arc this way count 11 this is um, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and uh, lastly eleven i have this eleven so i will take each point to touch this point here so my first tax here is to what make sure my first point is touching this point here so the devil my what set square this way I will connect it down this way with a faint line. So you hold it down this way and you place uh, either a metal rule or any whatever at this point here. So just for it to slide down, right? For it to slide down. So let me use um, this one. You just it's concern I'm doing. So just make sure you um, check on that link in the description. So you can know how to divide line. Take this one to this way, right? Right. So next tax, draw this. So I have successfully what? Draw all those points out. As you can see in front of you. So the points must not touch our outside, please. So here are all my points so here is my first point here is my second point my third point um third point fourth point eight six seven eight nine ten and uh, eleven those are my points right so now my first tax here is that as you can see the first uh, fraction there is what 2 over 11 right 2 over 11 so i'm, I'm counting this 0 1 2 at this point 2 i will draw a vertical line i'm taking it so i put my t square this way my set square so this is my point 2 vertical line upward right and my point 2 as you can see vertical line upward then what the next one is 1 over 11. This is 0. This is 1. I'll move 1 over 11. I'll take in that point to cut it sticking. So similarly, I will close it up. Close this point up. And close this point up. Now, before I move on, what do you observe? See that place my arrow is indicating? Is what? Diameter of 40. So I'm going to 20. 20 on my meter rule. So this is my meter rule. Measure out 20 from here to here. It's 20, right? At this point, strike an arc here and arc here. So similarly, I'll just take it this way. I will join it down here. I will join it uh, down here. I have this. So close this up. Close this up. I have this, right? So my next tax here. Is to continue. This is 2 over 11, 1 over 11. What's the next tax? 4 over 11. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. At this point, 4, I will take in it. I'll draw a vertical line upward to my point 4 here. I'll take in it. Right. I have this. Right. My next tax is that what? From that 11, this is my 11 over, 11 over um, 4 by 11, right? Next up is what? 1 over 11. This is 0. This is 1. So I move to this point. I'm taking this point. I'm taking it this way. Right? Then I close it up. As you can see, it is closed. At the right at the right corner of the screen, as you can see what we are having. I simply close the upper part too. Close this point. So I have it. Now as you can see, the inner part here is having what? Diameter of 45. So half of 45 will give me 45 divided by 2, I will have 22.5. That is approximately 23. So, measure 23 on my meter row, 23. 
from this point to this point 23 right i'll place it at this point here an arc here and an arc here so i will draw a vertical line horizontal line rather touch this point here come up here and touch this point here so i have this man here i have this so the next tax here is to take uh the next point this is 1 over 11 that's the next one 3 over 11 let's count it 0 1 2 3 because it is 3 right over 11 so we are correct this is the main 3 now only observe the diameter here is going to be what uh 40 so since here is 40 you can just easily transfer this point this point here down here down this way transfer this last point here too since it's 40, I don't need to measure any 40 again. Let's transfer it this way. And what? Taking it and uh, close it up. So we have to just really replicate what is at the right corner of the screen to be this. Right? To be this. So let's dimension this. To dimension it, I um, have uh, this way. I've successfully replicate what is at the right corner of the screen to be this so if you found this video helpful kindly click on the subscription button and like thank you welcome to wise link academy